Hello, good morning. Time for business. Now, economist with Data Bank, Karish Marty, says government may have to go back to parliament for a budget review if prices of crude oil on the international market continue to drop down further. Now, the price of crude on Wednesday witnessed a dip to below the $50 mark, a development, he says, could significantly impact the economy. Some analysts have argued it would affect government's revenue generation, considering the fact that benchmarked price for the economy had been pegged at around over $50. Karish Marty says the situation would require the Minister of Finance to go back to Parliament for a review of the budget. In budget perspective, it doesn't look too good because the government's benchmark price for this year is about $56 per barrel. And on that basis, it's expecting about $515 million. Now, if prices fall below this level and remain at below this level for a long time, then the government may have to realign some of its expenditure items to ensure that it remains within the budget. And this is where some of the annual budget funding targets may suffer a little bit. Try and keep a check on expenditure. And I think that under this fiscal um, consolidation program, the key risk the government have faced has been on the expenditure side, you know, because once revenue suffer shocks, the expenditure rigidities make it difficult for government to realign the budget and remain within limits. And so the government may have to enforce all the checks and the public financial management constraints at its disposal to ensure that expenditures remain within target and can also be brought within the set limit that has been imposed by development on the revenue side. Now, industry regulator Cocoa Board is assuring farmers will be given their due despite decla declining cocoa prices. Board Chair of Cocoa Board, Hakman Uswajiman, disclosed this to Joy Business after touring some cocoa processing factories in Tema. George Uafe has more. We have an energy levy, okay, which was passed in, I think, 2016, okay, December 2016. No. Cocoa bean has dropped for over $3,000 and is now trading at around $1,700 a ton. Analysts have attributed this to oversupply of the bean on the market. According to Cocoa Board, the country has already lost more than 1 billion cities as a result of this development. This will obviously affect the projected revenue from cocoa bean exports. But board chair of Cocoa Board, Hakman Oswajiman, tells Joy Business the current price being paid to farmers and other benefits will not be affected. Currently, since we pay a certain percentage of that amount to cocoa farmers, we should be reducing the price of cocoa. But we are not. We are maintaining the price. That means we are cushioning off whatever effect it has. It may have effect on the economy because income-wise, we've lost about over one billion. But at the end of the day, the farmers should be the center of our attention. On the current challenges facing cocoa processing company, Hakman Owusu-Ajiman said the board is committed to assisting the company come out of this challenge. The board chair justified Cocoa Board's decision for licensed buying companies to pre-finance purchases of cocoa beans on the market. All of them that take pre-financing, some of them uh, uh, pay for it themselves. The pre-financing backed by guarantees is only to assure that those that don't have the, um, the wherewithal, those that have, don't have the capital are able to operate. Sometimes also uh, the interest rate that we charge them is, le is smaller than uh, what the bank will charge them. And then we also have um, guarantees from the bank so that we are secure. We will not know that if we do everything. The visit took the team to Cocoa Processing Company, Cargill, by Calibo, Tuton, and Niche Cocoa. And that's all in business for now. We'll come away again at midday with more business stories. My name is Imano Abuaji. We have a good morning.